All right, I know you guys have been looking for a Udemy course for a very, very long time. You've been searching through Udemy for a JavaScript course, and, and you don't know where to look. You don't know where to start. This is a lot of time and effort you're going to be putting into this course. So you want to make sure that you have the perfect one. And I think I may have found the one for you. If you're looking to learn JavaScript, look no further. I think I have a course that you need to check out. Let's get into the video. Well, here we go again. My name is Dave Hughes Jr. And in today's video, we will be talking about Jonas Schmidtman. I think I said his name right. Anyways, we're going to be talking about this Udemy course on JavaScript. But before we do that, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. We're on the way to 1,000 subscribers. We're about at 900 and something. So let's go ahead and bump that thing up to 1,000. So with that being said, let's get into the review. I'll make this as short as possible. And first, I'm going to give you guys everything I like about the course, everything I don't like about the course, which isn't a lot. And then I'm going to talk about the course itself in terms of what's inside the course, what you will be learning, and um, I'll give you my final thoughts and opinions. So let's go with what I like about the course. I like the fact that Jones breaks everything down to the teeth. So if you're somebody who needs somebody to kind of go a little bit slower, and so you need somebody to break things down, explain why this happens. If you like somebody who is going to go be over and beyond on different concepts about JavaScript in terms of teaching you why this happens, not just telling you that it's going to happen. This is this is the right course. Okay, this is it. All right. If you need somebody who is going to talk to you very slowly, <laughs> somebody who's going to break things down to the T, this is the course for you. If you need somebody who needs somebody. No, I'm just playing. So, but if you if you really really serious about JavaScript, I really do believe that Jonas has his best um, foot forward with this course. And this is a very very long course, by the way. So you get a lot of content, man. A lot of content with this course, man. If I'm looking through, it's about it says 320 lectures, about 69 total hours. <laughs> That's a lot a lot of hours so if you if you need something that's quick though this isn't the course for you okay this isn't the course for you i wanted something that was very detailed and very just packed with information so this is course for you if you want a lot of information a ton this is it but if you're just looking to get the bare minimum that you need to get started and you're gonna learn the rest on your own like i said there are other courses that will get you started faster okay but if, like i said if you want to know the most that a, what a udemy course can bring of course this is the course for you. Okay. That's everything I like. I like attention to detail there. Everything is slowed down. Perfect. And I'm learning a lot of information. Check. That's what I liked about it. So what I did not really like about the course, which like I said, isn't a lot, of, a lot. It's like two things. One, it took me a little bit of time to get used to just his accent because, you know, it's not, you know, just an American accent in which you might be like, well, that shouldn't really matter. Well, you know, I got used to it. It was pretty, pretty easy to do. It's just when you're not used to hearing different voices. Okay. <laughs> it, it That's the thing. Okay. That's the thing. And you have to, if you have to listen to somebody for 69 hours, it's probably a good idea that you can either A, adjust to listening or B, you know, just enjoy listening the entire time. I mean, if you're not going to enjoy, you're not going to enjoy watching that much content you know, or listen to that much content if what you're listening to isn't pleasing to the ear or isn't um, un, like if you don't like how it sounds. OK, <laughs> you know, I don't really know how else to break that down Two, in the course. Once you get to a certain point, I will say that it feels like it may just be me, but it feels like once once you get like all the way to maybe section 17, or so, and I'm gonna talk about these sections here in a second. But once you get to about section 17, the the skill level just takes a hike. It's almost like you know when you're riding a plane and it's going around the tracks and stuff like that, and then you're just sitting back in the seat, and the next thing you know, you just you just up in the air and you're just taking off. That's kind of how it feels like section almost like one through one through maybe I'm gonna say one through 17. Um, or 16, I'm gonna say 16, one, one through 16 was just kind of like, you know, sitting and chilling. Well, maybe 17, because really I was good until I, like when I got to the big project, it kind of took me off, but um, like took off, like my, the takeoff, like to another level. It's like 
you like the skill level was way up there, but I kind of like that because it was like, hmm, I got to get right now. I got to get myself together. So it just took off. It didn't take me long to figure figure it out though. But some people might not like that. I guess that's not really a dislike. That's more of a pay attention to piece. Like that's somewhere in the middle. It's not that I didn't like it, not that I liked it, but it was like somewhere in the middle, that gray area. But other than that, the course was pretty good. <laughs> so let, let's talk about the sections more now and give you guys more of a kind of thorough review of the sections and stuff that are inside of the course. And so with that being said, we're going to pull um, everything up. And so, all right, here we go. So as you can see, man, section one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight or kind of just the beginning. This is this is I'm gonna say this is the beginning right here. Section one through eight. The beginning It's very, very slow paced. And, and it's not too slow, but it's it's just everything you need to get started right here. Everything you need to get started. And what I also love about this course is that through each one, he has what he calls a section roadmap. And so these are the fundamentals. You need the fundamentals by any means. Please get the fundamentals. OK, and then how to navigate. And so pathway and section roadmap. So this is what I'm talking about. There's no section roadmap here because you need all this. <laughs> yeah, you need all this. All right. And so get all that information. Please get all that information. So um, the welcome, welcome part is something that you'll breeze through real quick and just watch that. Um, but let's go ahead and go through a little bit more how to navigate, setting up your um, computer and stuff, optional HTML CSS course. I'm pretty sure most people already you know, kind of knew some HTML and CSS, but if you didn't, that's a good little section. You're not going to learn everything you need about it in 56 minutes, but still a good section to have to get through with the course. Okay. And then you have the DOM event. So this is when it starts to get interesting because you actually start interacting with the web page at, at some point in this section here, you got some of those small projects which are entertaining. And, um, I think they're good introductions to the DOM and, getting used to manipulating everything in the dump the javascript how it works behind the scenes now this this is the lecture section by the way <laughs> so this is this is like going this is like college 101 right here this is all mainly videos a little bit of coding but a lot of videos about how things work behind the scenes um i can see some people kind of skipping this section but it's a good thing to kind of see this he kind of goes through some whiteboard stuff and then he kind of goes back to code and back to the whiteboard stuff and so when i say whiteboard i mean just talking and more lecture style kind of teaching okay um, but it's very good information to have data structures and modern um operators and strings very great section indeed it is exactly as it says it's a five hour section by the way you get a lot of stuff in here and the coding channels are, are interesting as well um some sections don't have coding challenges um the ones that are just mainly project based but like um these are um very um what's called code and code challenge based so um not really a project in that it's just the challenge just to help you learn and you, you get all the information like i said i don't want to just name all these because this uh, review be long you can look through those if you want to but um a lot of great stuff a section that really just focuses on functions arrays dates times um interval timers um and stuff like that advanced dom and, dom and events and so just trying to go through all this as quickly as i can but <clears throat> scrolling down to the interacting stuff a lot of people want to know what kind of projects will i build in these big um udemy course project based um courses and so <laughs> These these are the two big projects, the Map T app using Leaflet, and you can Google Leaflet if you want. But basically, Leaflet is like a library where um, it allows you to control um, a map. And so this project here was basically you um, using the map to log workouts, and it was it was pretty good. You can if you're a runner or a cyclist, and you can kind of log the workouts and stuff and put it on the map and pin it that was it was interesting and then um i kind of put it through the through the video so you can see um and then another thing um uh, the forkify um app was another one this wait a minute before i go to that this section 16 is probably one of the most important sections that i've ever seen in my life <laughs> i did i look this is probably my favorite section even the forkify app forkify was probably my 
Well, they're, they're tied. 16 and 18, probably my favorite, because I feel like this is where I learned the most information right here. Being able to do promises using a sync, a weight, and Ajax, very important, very important. And then the Forkify app kind of brings everything to life. Or it brings OOP, it brings a weight, it brings all that to life in the Forkify app. And the app itself, all the app itself is really, and I say all it is, is a app that lets you save recipes. Um, or let you look up different recipes. So if you want a pizza recipe, type in pizza, and then you get the pizza recipe and save it. And um, you can save as many as you want. And but it brings everything together. And also throughout the course, he shows you how to actually start planning a project. Um, he shows you how to start planning a project and how to actually. Um, put your project together in terms of section by section how to import everything and how the architecture of the project should be and so i think that's a very very good thing there and so with that being said i didn't want this to be too too long but that's it man look check the check it out man check it out if you're considering just getting a pure javascript course then i think that this is the one for you if you're somebody who's looking for a complete boot camp you may want to look at maybe some angela you or Angela Yee, I think it's Angela Yee, and um, some other people out there. That's just the one that came to my mind. But if you're looking for a complete bootcamp, he does have CSS, HTML courses, um, HTML and CSS courses. Um, they're separate, but um, you have to get those separate and get those. He has a SAS course and a Node.js course. I plan on taking all of those at some point in time. I see all of those, probably the SAS and the, <laughs> and the Node.js course. And so, because I don't, I don't really know a whole lot of SAS, and I don't really know a whole lot of no JS. Well, no, no JS at all. But anyways, man, let me know what you think. If you've taken this course before, let me know. And I didn't even talk about six nineteen. Six nineteen is get, by the way. I didn't talk about that. My bad. <laughs> um, he teaches everything about get. I kind of went through that really quick because I already knew it pretty well. Um, but anyways, man, look if y'all enjoyed the review. Make sure that you guys <laughs> make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.